Peace and blessings, beautiful people. Peace and blessings. This is Empress Money, and welcome to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. Being in an inner state of abundance means that you feel plentiful now, that you have trust for life, and that you have faith that more is coming in. Kimberly Snyder. I'm Empress Money, inspirational teacher of Sacred Love Lessons. I have women to honor the love within so they too can manifest the life of their dreams. We're in season five, Be Your Own Guru, 12 Secrets of the Sacred Saber. Sacred Love Lessons is brought to you by House of Sacred Love, where every day is self-love day. Be inspired to honor yourself with clear intentions, release what no longer serves you, claim your freedom, and head in the right direction to manifest the life of your dreams. You can book your life-changing one-on-one clarity session today at houseofsacredlove.com. That is houseofsacredlove.com. Our objective today is to fully embrace our abundant mindset. But first, let's invoke our goddess energy of Demeter. Euthena, Fortuna, Freya, Green Tara, Juno Moneta, Kichi Jodin, Lakshmi, Pomona, Rasmurta, Teach, Vatsuhara, and Vesta. Abundance includes intangible things like energy, love, compassion, peace, joy, happiness, good health, beautiful relationships, wisdom, inspiration, courage, creativity, and grace. Abundance also includes physical things like food, money, and possessions. Today, we're going to focus on the intangibles. My experience has been that when we fully align our universe, our outer world reflects the tangible things we desire. So how do we tap into the abundance frequency? We must first know ourselves. Ask yourself, who am I? Who am I? How do you see yourself? Knowing ourselves is ground zero because we behave according to what we know and believe. We learn about abundance through our exposure to what we hear repeatedly, especially as children, what we see repeatedly, and what our firsthand experiences are. This becomes our abundance blueprint. Many of us have learned about scarcity, the feeling of not having enough of something. This mindset can lead to feelings of fear, anxiety, competition, and despair, which is why it's so important for us to know who we are. Then we must honor the love within, reparent and nurture your inner child and the goddess you are evolving into. Take care of this refined version of yourself and discover more enjoyable ways to experience life. I highly recommend you pick up the book, Honor the Love Within, your pathway to self-love and success. Next, we must look inward. Explore your blueprint and core values. What matters most to you? What do you think about when you think of abundance? What stories are you telling yourself? What matters most to me now is my spiritual evolution, sacred purpose, making an impact, and leaving a good legacy for those coming behind me. It's important for me to be the light and shine it brightly. I must be the highest version of myself so those behind me can find their way home. So that's what is important for me right now. And that's what matters most for me right now. I'm sure you have something that matters to you. Look inward and find out what that is. Then be open to change. We must be open to receiving all the abundance the Great Mother offers and gives to us. Sometimes we can be so attached to outcomes and our visions for our lives that we sell ourselves short by being too rigid and attached. Next, we must embrace our faith. Faith is the trust and confidence in the goddess within us. It is based on the law of assumption and is a continuous moment by moment process. It is the belief in the unfolding of our lives according to the universal laws. Even when we don't know the pathway or have certainty about how it will happen. When we operate in faith, we focus our attention on the laws of the universe and learn how they work. You may want to purchase the 46 laws of spiritual power. 
There's a lot of information in there about how the universal laws work and how you can make them work for you. And then we rely on those laws and move forward toward our dreams. We manifest things into being through the laws of assumption and neutralization. We call those things that be not as though they were. We live in a state of already because it is. And finally, we continue to develop and strengthen our faith by delving deeper into the goddess within us, consistently applying faith principles and living with purpose and integrity. Ask yourself, what do I need to be, do, or have now? What do I need to be, do, or have now? For example, sometimes it's necessary to be still or silent while on other occasions, we may need to breathe and be patient or step back and walk away. Next, you want to get outside your comfort zone and release the illusion of safety and security in this physical world. I'll say that again. We must get outside of our comfort zone and release the illusion of safety and security in this physical world. Instead, embrace discernment and adaptability and then finally channel your power we must channel our power our fire and passion fuels our abundance fire used correctly can be a powerful tool for attracting abundance into our lives by tapping into the fire energy within ourselves we can ignite our passion creativity and drive this will help us take action and move forward in our lives, which can ultimately lead to greater abundance. So I have an abundance mindset exercise for you. Recall a time when you felt alive. Remember when you felt engaged and enthusiastic. What were you doing? What aspects of the experience lit you up? Then embrace that feeling embrace that energy and embrace your inner flame and allow it to shine in the world. Our modern day goddess that inspired this episode is Jabez. Jabez is a highly acclaimed author and a dedicated weight loss coach who exudes positivity and insight. I admire how he radiates his inner light and cultivates an abundance mindset while growing food and preparing nutritional meals. I'll leave a link for you to Jabez's YouTube channel and you can check him out. He's doing really good things in the world. Affirmation. I am abundance and abundance is my birthright. I have an abundant mindset and I deserve abundance in every area of my life. My life overflows with unconditional love, peace, joy, happiness, good health, clarity, inspiration, creativity, wisdom, courage, and grace. I have an abundance of high-vibing, reciprocal relationships with people who truly love me and have my best interests in their hearts. I feel abundant every day, and I'm grateful for the constant flow of abundance in my life. I say, and so it is. I'll leave you with this final thought. Abundance is your birthright and you deserve abundance in all aspects of your life. Believe in yourself and your dreams. Tap into your unwavering faith, confidence, passion, and brilliance. The power is yours. So that's what I have for you today. Thanks for listening to this episode of Sacred Love Lessons. Be your own guru, 12 Secrets of the Sacred Saber. Wherever you're tuning in in the world, don't forget to click the like button, comment, and subscribe. And until we speak again, be the light.